Hey everyone, it's Ali and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going over five fragrances that really make me happy. They brighten my mood. These fragrances all have some form of nostalgia factor for me. Um, when I smell them, they bring me peace. They bring me joy. They just brighten my day. And I cannot see myself without these fragrances in my collection. And if that's something that you're interested in knowing, then definitely stay tuned because that's what we're going to be getting into today. The first fragrance I want to talk about is one that really takes me back to a happy place and that is American Cream. Now American Cream is a fragrance from Lush and I do have two fragrances from Lush that are in this list. Um, but this one in particular just brings back so many happy memories for me. Um, for those of you that know, I used to work at Lush um, when I lived in San Antonio. I used to work at the North Star Mall and I worked at the Lush there. And that to this day has been the funnest, most amazing job I've ever held. Um, working at a Lush is definitely an experience. It was definitely cool working with such an interesting cast of people. Um, there was people from every walk of life there and everyone was so loud and so fun and just so energetic. I miss that people used to jump on tables and dance. We used to yell and scream and play our music and literally break out dancing in the middle of the store. It was such a crazy experience. Like I've never, to this day, I've never worked in a store quite like Lush. It was such a freeing, um, inviting, loving experience and I really loved it. Um, had I not like moved away from the area, I probably would have still stayed working for the company because like I said, to this day, it's one of the best jobs I've ever held and it was such a fun experience. But why this fragrance is so tied to my memory to that place is because American Cream was actually a conditioner um, that I was wearing or using while I worked there. Um, before I bought the fragrance, I used to buy the American Cream conditioner, which smelled like almost strawberries and cream. It was like milky, very lactonic. Um, it had this sort of strawberry accord to it and it was so comforting, so relaxing. I used to buy the conditioner all the time because when you work there, you get 50% off. Um, so I went ham and my hair always smelled like American cream and the conditioner really scents your hair with the fragrance. So like you smell like American cream when you use the conditioner and you get wafts of it all throughout the day. It's really addictive and I loved it. Every time my hair like moved or the wind blew, I would get these wafts of strawberry and cream and it was so delicious, so yummy and also very calming at the same time. Well, once the American Cream fragrance became available, I jumped on it and I bought it. And I have been loving this ever since. Whenever I need a pick-me-up, whenever I need to feel a little bit happier, um, whenever I'm anxiety-ridden, this is a really good one for me to pick up and just smell and wear because it just brings me a lot of peace and joy. And it really floods my mind with memories of like happy times. Um, which is why I love fragrance. I tie a lot of memory to fragrance and fragrance always transports me to a place in time. And I think that that's such a beautiful thing and why I love the, the art of fragrance. It's really transportative. Um, and I love the feelings it invokes in me. Um, but yeah, this is just a stunning fragrance. You've got notes of vanilla absolute, lavender, clary sage, and you have that strawberry note. To me, when I smell this, it gives me slightly powdery, almost chalky vanilla vibes, but it's also ha it also has a very calming effect because of the lavender and the clary sage in this. Um, and like I said, you also get the slight fruity nuance of the strawberry, which adds a little bit of sweetness to the fragrance as well. This is stunning, you guys. If you want to smell slightly chalky, powdery, vanillic, um, very calming, slightly fruity. This is the scent you need. It's a really good one. It's probably one of the most underrated fragrances from Lush. There's quite a few that I love. Like I said, I've got another one in this list that I tie a lot of sentimental value and memory to. Um, but this one is one of my favorites. Definitely check it out if you get a chance to. And definitely try out the conditioner. Amazing. Everything from Lush is amazing, but American Cream is like mm, just so beautiful, you guys. Check it out if you can. The next one that I'm going to be talking about is also a little hidden gem. This one is from Clinique, oddly enough, and this one is called 
cocoa and cashmere and you guys if you want to feel like you are being hugged get your nose on this one this is one of the most beautiful cocoa fragrances i have ever smelled in my life the only downside to this fragrance is that it's not the longest lasting and it comes in this whack little bottle i think this is like a one ounce or like a travel spray um i hate the packaging i wish this came in a bigger bottle because if it did i would be hoarding so many of these this is a fragrance I never want to be without. I've bought this little thing so many times. I carry this in my purse. I take this everywhere I go. I always have it just in case I want to like spritz, up, spritz something on and that's going to make me feel good. This is gorgeous. It's cacao, vanilla, musk, amber, solar notes, pink pepper. You've got honeysuckle and jasmine. As this sits on the skin, it just, it's so inviting and so ethereal there's something very angelic smelling about this fragrance this is one you have to spray on skin to believe this is one of the most beautiful airy cacao fragrances that isn't going to be overbearing this sort of cashmere effect that this has is very enveloping very warm and just inviting it has these slightly floral nuances in the background that are just so beautifully placed and they just play so harmoniously with the cacao and the vanilla this is really an experience um it's really highly underrated um i think it's just so beautiful there's just something about this that makes me so happy whenever i feel like i need a hug in some way this is an easy one for me to wear definitely check it out i love this one for all occasions but particularly because it just makes me really happy Definitely check it out. Like I said, Coco and Cashmere. The next one that I'm going to be going over is one from Oddly Enough Mac. And this one is their true staple, tried and true, Turquatic. Now, Turquatic is one that I love, not just because my mom wears it, so it also reminds me of my mom. But I remember growing up, always going to the Mac counter and picking this fragrance up. And I remember growing up, like Mac was the it thing. Um, Mac was super talked about when I was in high school. It was like, if you're not a Mac girl, you're not cool. Like there was a lot of like emphasis in the company when I was younger and in high school. And I remember it was like the it thing. Like I used to go to the Mac counter all the time. I would pick this fragrance up and just smell it. And to me, this smelled like cool. It smelled like the cool girls. Like this is what I wanted to be. Every time I picked this up and smelt it, I was like, yeah, this is what the cool girls are gonna smell like. This is a cool girl fragrance. And because of that, like, it just brings back so many, like, memories of, like, going to the mat counter and just being really excited about, like, one day I'm gonna be able to shop here and, like, one day I'm gonna buy that fragrance and then I ended up buying it eventually, but it just makes me happy. You've got aquatic notes, lotus, lemon, cedar. You've got orris root and it, I can't pronounce this one quite right. Anemona, it's like a type of flower, but this is stunning. The lotus and the aquatic notes with that lemon are what I get the most from this. It's really quite beautiful. It's very bright. It's juicy, it's aquatic. It's very lemon forward. If you wanna smell fresh, clean, very airy, almost like you spent the day at the beach and you're very bad and bougie, then this is a really good fragrance. This works beautifully in summer and high heat. And it just is so bright. It's a really beautiful fragrance. If you guys haven't tried it, definitely get your nose on it. Another one that just makes me so happy when I smell it because my mom wore this a lot growing up. I wanted to smell like this growing up and it's just one of those. It's a gorgeous one and Mac did a really good job when creating this fragrance. Definitely check it out, you guys. Turquatic by MAC. Beautiful fragrance. The next one that we're going to be going over is another one from Lush, like I had said before. And this one is Vanillary. So Vanillary is a fragrance from Lush that just takes me back to when, I have, of course, I worked at Lush. But I remember during the holiday season that I worked at Lush, I remember there was this competition going on where, like, you could win this specialized um, box that had a lot of oxford lush um, products that were only available in the uk and basically what you had to do was sell the most amount of gift sets so i remember like hearing that and immediately being like oh my god i want to win 
I'm going to sell, sell, sell. And I kid you not, like in a day, I sold like 25 like boxes or like gift sets, which was about like five grand. Like those gift sets were no joke. And I remember selling and selling and selling and convincing all these people coming in during the holiday season. They needed to get these gift sets. Everyone was going to love them. And I just sold, 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 sold because I really wanted to win that damn box. But in the box, there was a body scrub um, that was scented like vanillary. And I remember loving that body scrub. It looked like sand, which was funny. And it smelled um, like a sandy vanilla. And that's kind of what this fragrance reminds me of. It's almost like a sandy vanilla that kind of reminds me of the beach. You've got notes of vanilla, tonka, and jasmine. The jasmine is really beautiful in this. The vanilla is really gorgeous as well. It's very smooth. The tonka adds this very interesting sweetness. It's just a sweet, very vanillic floral fragrance with an emphasis in the jasmine. If that's something that you're into, this is a really simplistic fragrance, but it's honestly really good and extremely long lasting. I really love this one. I just love how it works on my skin. On my skin, it develops quite beautifully. It's vanillic and floral, and honestly, I couldn't ask for more. It's literally perfection in my book. And it reminds me of the Oxford Staff Box that I won which honestly was like a highlight of like working at Lush. I loved when I won that damn box because I had such cool stuff, but that body scrub in particular was super nice because it just smelled so good. I remember hoarding that thing and like using it so sparingly, but every time I was in the shower, I would open it and like smell it and just be like, oh my God, I wanna rub you all over my body right now. And it was just ugh, so good. Definitely check it out if that sounds interesting to you. It's definitely, in my opinion, a really good one and it just makes me happy. The last one we're going to be going over is one from Coors, and this one is called Vanilla Freesia. Now, this is a gorgeous one, and honestly, you guys, this is a dupe for another discontinued fragrance. I love this. Every time I smell it, it just makes me happy. Just like all these fragrances, it just makes me happy. I don't know how to explain it other than it just does. Um, this is a really good dupe too for uh, Flower Bomb Extreme. So if you were ever wanting to try Flower Bomb Extreme, that one came out in like 2013, so quite a while ago. Um, it was a beautiful version of Flower Bomb that had lychee, it had a tea note. It was dark, but it was also very kind of sweet and slightly relaxing, um, in my opinion, because of the tea note definitely get your hands on this one this one was at one point called like freesia lychee um vanilla i think but they discontinued the packaging for that one and i think a lot of people think that that scent just got discontinued in general um no it's literally vanilla freesia they just changed the name in the packaging so if you were looking for that one from Coors, it's literally this fragrance they just changed the packaging and the name but the notes are the same the scent is the same um, and like I said, it's a dupe for Flower Bomb Extreme. If you were a fan of Flower Bomb Extreme from 2013, um, and it's too expensive to source out because it's been such a long time. I know I've seen bottles go for like 200 and something bucks now, which is kind of ridiculous. Being that that fragrance didn't really last the longest, but it was a beautiful version of Flower Bomb. Definitely do yourself a favor and get this one. It lasts about the same amount of time. I get about six hours wear of wear time from this fragrance. Um, it is an eau de toilette, so it's not going to be the longest lasting fragrance. But you guys, I don't mind like reapplying this one. On me, this can last me my entire workday depending on how many sprays I do. And sometimes I tend to douse myself in this one and it's just so, so good. You've got notes of lychee, bergamot, tea, freesia, peach, jasmine, vanilla, patchouli, and musk. And this is just so good. This is such a likable fragrance. In the initial opening, you get the patchouli right off the bat, but it immediately starts settling down and you get that bergamot coming through. That creaminess of the lychee plays really beautiful, beautifully with this like tea note. I find that tea and lychee really complement each other really well. It adds a sort of creaminess to the tea, almost like a milk type tea. This is creamy, it's milky, it's fruity, it's dense, it's just good you guys this is such a good fragrance it has a sort of calming effect on me when i smell this and it's sweet and i just love it and this is such a compliment getting fragrance every time i wear this i get so many compliments from people that just say damn you just smell really good if you want to smell freaking good 
and you want to smell like flower bomb extreme, do yourself a favor and get Vanilla Freesia from Kors. This is literally a dupe. It's a compliment getter. It smells so good and it honestly lasts the same amount of time that the original did. The original honestly gave me about six hours wear time or so. Um, and this one does the exact same, but this is an eau de toilette. So definitely get your hands on this one if you guys have been looking for a good dupe. And yeah, those are my fragrances. I hope you guys enjoyed the list and I will catch you on my next video. Bye.